Welcome back to the Post Credits Show. I'm your host, Loosh. My boy, Brody. How are you, bro? Good, thanks, Loosh. <laughs> Good, brother. How are you? Man, I am ready to spoil some Deadpool and oh, Wolverine. You and me both, man. You and me oh, both. It has been so hard to not talk about this movie. Oh, my God, yes. In I the only previous saw episodes? This, oh. So Okay, so look. I saw this movie the night it came out. So Wednesday night, took the day off work. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? Deuces! Yeah, get your priorities saw, right. right. Yeah. 100%. 100%. I got paid to go and see it and everything. Um, oh. <laughs> I took annual leave. So it's like, yeah, pay me to see the movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. It's great. Um, but like... Everyone at work hasn't seen her. You hadn't seen her. I nah. remember sending you a message just saying, bro. And yeah. you're just like, I was like don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> but here we are. It is time to spoil yep. Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's go. Are you ready? I'm ready. I said, are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> okay. Let's start with this. Let's. With what? <laughs> I'm not a scientist, but uh. you seem incredibly passed away. <laughs> the reference uh. here. In the opening scene, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool starts talking about how we're going to honor Logan's legacy and then immediately responds with, we're not. <laughs> and then the opening sequence is, and I'm not joking when I say this, Ryan Reynolds fighting off the TVA yeah. with the adamantium skeleton <laughs> of the Fox Universe's yeah. dead uh, Wolverine. Yeah. And in that moment, you knew that everything was going to get <laughs> up. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, because he was having a rant about how, um, how their powers work and stuff like that. About, uh, like, the healing. What was it, What's it called again? Like, when they heal, self-heal. Self healing, yeah. Self healing. Yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah. "That's not how it works." Digs him up, full skeleton. Mother, that was such a good moment, and that whole intro with that Backstreet Boys "Bye Bye Bye." Oh my god! Yeah, and him dancing to it, and yeah, throwing bloody just while the oh, credits coming. Yeah, oh that was so funny. Oh my god, it was such an incredible moment. Um, I love the Wrexham reference. The Wrexham reference when he kicks, oh. the, when he kicks Wolverine's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. skull. And I'm like, this is going to be the most meta movie ever made. Yeah. It's going to reference literally everything that both Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds have ever done. And it did. Yeah. Now, I posted on uh, on our socials a couple of days before the movie came out that I'd found a little spoiler slash um, tribute kind of thing in the Ooh. official Deadpool and Wolverine playlist that they released a couple of days before the movie. Oh, when yeah. uh, when when the uh, the greatest show oh, yeah. <laughs> on the radio. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. And it was it was just such a moment. Um, yeah. You know, the first thing that I really did realize when when I kind of sat back and went, holy crap, this movie is breaking all of the rules. Was mm. I don't know if you know this, Disney. Yeah. have a really strict, an extremely strict set of rules for all movies that they release. They have a strict thing for everything. And one of the very strict set of rules for all Disney movies is that you can kill people off, you can have blood, or like no decapitations. There was what, what is three. Between, yeah. <laughs> there was three yeah. in this movie alone. Yeah. And I think one of the other rules was no references to drugs and the amount of oh, the devil's dandruff. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my and God. And they had like all these like different code names to the It was <laughs> such an incredible moment. Yeah. It was like, no, no, no. Kevin said that we can't say that. No. He, they know all of the reference. It was yeah. just, it was one of the most magnificent experiences. Like watching that back and forth between Deadpool yeah. and Blind Al. It was just so stupid. It was uh, so funny. Um, what did? You, what was your favorite moment? Okay, no, I do have a favorite moment. Uh, Blade. Well, he Holy, cr- yeah. dude! I screamed. And Channing Tatum. I screamed. <laughs> yeah, you know, like the slow motion intro. I was like, no, no yeah, no. yeah. And and, like, and the what? meta, the meta joke when Blade turns around to Deadpool and goes, yeah. "I don't like you very much." No. <laughs> and he turns around and is like, "You never really did." No, I don't know if you know this, but when when um when Ryan Reynolds was in Blade Three. Yeah. Uh, Wesley Snipes did not like Ryan Reynolds' sense of humor. 
Oh. So there was real life friction there. So for them yeah. to bring that meta moment yeah. and reference that in this movie was like the biggest fourth so they, wall so break. So they actually had beef. Not like Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds beef, but like actual, like actual beef. Oh. Which makes him being in this movie so much bigger. Yeah. But surely, surely now, like he's kind of. Well, I mean, that's um, like Wesley Snipes was talking to the media this weekend at uh, San Diego Comic Con, and yeah. he actually said, "Look, you know, I really did not like his sense of humor, but seeing how he's managed to channel that sense of humor into this character and create a franchise all of his own, yeah, you got to respect the guy." And I Absolutely. think that's what it was that bought that bought Wesley Snipes into the fold. But like, you're literally talking about an Avengers level team up here. Yeah. You've got. Wolverine and Deadpool. Classic. You've got Elektra <laughs> yeah. from from Daredevil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got Blade. From Blade. From, <laughs> from Blade, obviously. And then you've got Channing Tatum playing Gambit, which we'll get to that in just a second. Yeah. And then you've got X-23, X-23 from Logan. Yeah. That is an Avengers level team right there. Absolutely. And it was just such an incredible moment to watch all of those characters come out onto the big screen. And yep. now Channing Tatum playing Gambit. I don't know if you know the the back history. Here. I don't. I don't know all of it. No. Okay. So you know when they were talking about how they all wanted to be remembered for what they did, and yeah. they wanted to leave their legacy, and Channing yeah. Tatum was res- uh, Gambit was responding with, or at least the legacy that I could have left. Yeah. The reason why he references that is because when when Fox made hmm. Wolverine uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. Yep. Remember that movie, X-Men Origins Wolverine, yeah, 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 where it started yeah, yeah. in Japan yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It, it kind of told you the story about how Wolverine was made, right? Yeah, yeah. The plan from Fox was to make a number of Origins films, including Origins Magneto yeah, yeah. and Origins Gambit. Yeah. And Channing Tatum was cast as Gambit and yeah. then the project was cancelled, so he never got to play oh. the role. So him playing Gambit in this movie is playing the character that he never got to play. Until now. Until now. <laughs> so that was oh, just there huge. You go. So that was like, that's not even like, we're going to reach back and touch everything that Fox did. No. It was, we're going to do Come things that even yeah. Fox didn't do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was such a cool moment. Wow. And to see him come out finally yeah. in that full Gambit get up and to probably portray the most badass version of Gambit you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> he was he was a badass. Yeah. Wait, now, we, now we've got a, a bigger viewing audience. Now we've got all the mums because now we've got Channing Tatum with Magic Mike. And <laughs> who, <laughs> with all that. that was couldn't cool. understand half of what Channing he was Tatum? saying. <laughs> but, no. you know. No. Um, so that was, that was so cool. Yeah. That was so, so cool. Look. I was a little bit confused about a couple of moments there because, like, where was Deadpool in the greater universe? Because obviously we know we've got Earth 616, which is the sacred timeline. Yeah. And then, and then we've got the Fox universe, which I think was Earth 10,005. Yeah. Um, but we've also got a whole bunch of other universes that we've kind of touched but not really been into yet. Having the clarity of watching it a second time, I realized that... You remember at the end of Deadpool 2 when, when Deadpool went back in time and saved some of oh, his, yeah, his crew yeah, from yeah. the X-Force, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> but he also kind of jumped around into different universes. Yep. And you actually see a moment where he jumps into a completely different universe, goes into the sacred timeline and meets with Happy Hogan in 2018 and interviews to be an actual Avenger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that scene, man. It was like, so when, when was, when's the man coming? <laughs> so I like am in this the man. situation, like what? in this scenario, I'm the Aren't man. you the chauffeur? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, yes, it is true. I was his driver. <laughs> uh, but like, oh, yeah. the Easter eggs in that scene alone, where you've got, I, I don't know how much of it you saw, but you've got Captain America's half-finished shield. Yeah. That was like a throwback to, I think, Iron Man 2, maybe, or even Iron Man 1. Like, that was... That was such a throwback. But on the shelf, as Deadpool's leaving, you see a red suitcase, which from memory, I think it was the Mark V Iron Man armor from Iron Man 2, where he puts his fist into yeah, it yeah. and it just kind of like covers him when he's yeah. in. Yeah, yeah from Iron Man the 2 Russian, the limousine. The Russian guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A whiplash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, like uh, Ivan, Ivan. Yeah. Ivan? Ivan, yeah. Ivan. I'm not even going to attempt Yanko, that last name. Uh, well, whatever his name was. <laughs> Whiplash. The, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mickey Rourke. Yeah. Mickey Rourke. Yeah, when it yeah. was in the F1. Um, so that yeah. was, like, that was a really cool yeah. scene to see. But then he jumps from that universe back into his own universe. Yeah, yeah. And that's where I got a little bit confused because I'm like, okay, this, this movie feels all over the place. Where is Deadpool? The realization that what this movie was meant to be mm. 
was a tying of the bow on the top of the end of the Fox universe. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. Like this whole movie was literally them going, okay, that happened, that's a thing, that's now done. Even though the Fox universe is over, what timeline does he go back to at the end of it all? He goes back to his timeline. I don't think his timeline is the same as the Fox universe's timeline. No. And I don't think that Deadpool will inhabit the sacred timeline. I think Deadpool will continue to live in his own realm because we now know that we have easy access between universes and he will just yeah. drop in and have moments. <laughs> Deadpool being the... Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. It, it is so on brand for Deadpool. Yeah. So I, I think he will drop in and have moments at different points in Marvel Cinematic History mm. that make him almost like an ongoing cameo, an ongoing joke. Because there are a couple of moments throughout this like movie, the... right? Yeah, yeah. There are a couple of moments throughout this movie where they hinted at bigger plans. Mm. You know, Mr. Paradox says to Deadpool, you're a part of a bigger, uh, a bigger story yeah, yeah, here, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple of other things that, was, that, that were kind of said throughout the movie um, that, that kind of made me think, and we will get to this a little bit later, that kind of made me think, hold on a second, there's going to be more of this. There's going to be more of this. Yep. I'm going to say one of my favorite quotes, one of my favorite quotes from this movie, mm. Deadpool finally lands in, in the sacred timeline, Suck it, Fox. I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, his little, his little red grabs the camera. <laughs> shakes the camera. Yeah, yeah, Suck yeah. It, Fox. Suck it. I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> now, here's a fun little Easter egg. Tell me. The same day the movie came out, mm. Deadpool made his first appearance yeah. at the Avengers display, the Avengers land <laughs> at Disneyland. Ooh. So Deadpool is now a character that you can meet and greet with at Disneyland. For the first time ever. At it Di is the first oh, R-rated character to know. be a Disneyland character. I don't know about that one. I'm kind of like, suck it, Fox, I'm going to Disneyland. And suddenly, there he is at Disneyland. Yeah. Wait, I, I... Okay, listen. I love... Like, Disneyland, there are going to be a lot of guys who are... Uh, you know, girls as well. But there are going to be a lot of guys like, yeah, yeah, sick pool. Uh, sick pool. Deadpool. <laughs> sick pool. <laughs> sick pool. <laughs> <laughs> but there are going to be children there as well. Yeah, look, you know he's, I mean? he's like, not going to talk. He's not going to be the no, 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 Merkel no, no, of the Not like, like that, but like, what, what, what do you do? Like, he's going to be Deadpool. Deadpool I'm, I'm going to be really honest with you, man. Like, and regardless of the rating, kids are seeing this movie. Mate. Kids are seeing Absolutely. this movie. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> if you're like, if, if anyone's like, like a young me, like if my mom tells me not to watch it, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> well, and this is the thing. Like, you know, I, I know what you do for work and I do something similar. And I've, I've had moments where like when I'm talking to customers, I, I, I get a little bit less than PG rated and sometimes yeah, I've got yeah. customers who will be like oh dude they hear worse in front of us at home yeah you know like it's, it's not unusual to hear a few F's and, and B's no, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, know yeah. like it's yeah. people are gonna kids are gonna go watch this movie it's exactly. that simple and if exactly. they don't go and watch this movie it's gonna be on it's gonna be on Dis it's gonna be on Disney Plus for God's exactly. sake exactly so like kids are gonna watch this Dead yeah one and two are already on Disney Plus exactly so good luck parents trying to stop your kids <laughs> Look, I, I think um, there was there was so many there was so many different cameos in this movie as well, which mm. which I think make made this movie such an exciting experience. Like this was this was an event level movie, you know. Like yeah. you go to the movies, it's like oh, another Marvel movie's out. Okay, cool. Yeah. But like there are certain Marvel movies when they come out, it's like an event. Yeah, you know, like you go out on a date night, you go and spend big friggin' money. <laughs> you, you know, like you like. It was an event for like two of my best mates. Actually, the the former host of this show yeah. came along with us. Hi, Lucky. Still love you. Yeah, flog. <laughs> <laughs> um, like we we made a thing out of it. You know, we went yeah. to Gold Class and we had yeah. the the food and like you know, this was an event level movie. Yeah, and it didn't disappoint because like some of the cameos that we got in this movie, like we got so many different variants of Wolverine, including. Mm at least one of the rumors that we were talking about in a few episodes uh, a few episodes back in season two yep henry cavill oh my oh. as a wolverine <laughs> variant yeah wait, with the motorbike <laughs> yeah wait, i was wait that's actually how do you how do you feel about that i i loved it i loved it because it felt like um Henry Cavill, and, and Deadpool did make a joke about this, will look after you better than the guys across the road did, as in DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so now I, he's in Marvel and DC. Yeah, he is. And and I thought, and, and in fairness, James Gunn, who directed all the Guardians of the Galaxy mm. movies, is now the head of DC. So, you know, oh, like that's, you that's <laughs> it's, it's, it's all kind of mixed together there. Yeah, all mixed up. Fun, fun thing happened this weekend, actually, at San Diego Comic-Con. Um... 
Kevin Feige likes to answer really pointed questions with anything is possible, you never know. And some a reporter asked him this yeah. weekend at San Diego Comic Con, mm. are we going to ever see a Marvel and DC crossover movie? And his response oh, was, no. you never know anything can happen. No, I don't like that. I do. I do. Because okay. it's been in the comic books. It's happened in comic book world already. Yeah. DC versus Marvel has happened in the comic books already. It could be a... F- it could be the... Actually, no. Biggest- I, I, I take that back. I take that back. No. I... There has been so many, like not recently, but before, there's been so much like banter and talk about who would win. Avengers versus like Justice League, all this stuff. You know what I mean? If a movie like that comes out, it'd be the biggest movie ever made. Matt, it'd have ever, to have the biggest history, budget for the next for the next hundred years. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I can see the moment where it would happen too. Like Deadpool would be standing there, like you know, talking yeah. about DC, and then yeah. all of a sudden, Superman walks in. <gasps> yeah. You know, like that, that whole classic Deadpool <laughs> yeah, moment. Absolutely. Like, I just, yeah. So that would be interesting. Yeah, but yeah. look, the first big cameo mm. that really got me going yep. was Chris Evans. Oh my God. I cannot believe they did this. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Evans is in this movie. Yeah. But not as who you think. No. No, 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 no. Do you want to tell the children? I shall, I shall, yes, yes, yes. So when Wolverine and Deadpool go into the void for the first time, obviously they had their little fight, um, and they see this mysterious man in the cloak. Familiar sounding voice. Who is it? Jumps down from a, what is it, billboard stand? Or like a billboard thing? Yep. Jumps down, takes his hood off. Who is it? Chris Evans. <gasps> in a big full-on cloak yeah, yeah. thing, like, but, a, like a desert dweller cloak. But before he jumps down, no, 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 or is it after? Deadpool kind of makes you spiel about like being the most iconic person in the yeah. Marvel Universe being like all this the front man and all that kind of stuff instantly as the audience you're like definitely Captain America takes his cloak off you see this slight little blue thing under his uh, little gown and <laughs> the villains come up in the oh they have this little Mad Max crossover as well anyway we'll talk about <laughs> that a bit later. yeah talk about that a little later but um, yeah so um, <laughs> Deadpool starts to go oh he's gonna say it, he's gonna say it, he's gonna say it, he's gonna say it he's gonna say it being Avengers Assemble Takes his cloak off, says, Flame on! <laughs> Johnny Storm! Oh, yeah. From I Fantastic can't Four. Believe, I could not believe it. No. I squealed when that happened. Oh because, my like, God, yeah. Johnny Storm was my man crush when I was younger. Like, I think, not gonna I think, lie. Like, when it came out, I think a lot, like, Chris Evans shirtless, like, <laughs> I think that was, like, kind of. Could turn like, a straight yeah, man on a dime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you already told us you're bilingual, so that doesn't no. count. <laughs> <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> um, but yeah, look, so so obviously we got that and then uh, you go into this fight scene where there's all these yeah. Furiosa references mm-hmm. because obviously Furiosa has come out recently. Yeah. Um, uh, you go into this fight scene that is very uh, Mad Max and uh, the Wolverine's brother, Sabretooth, oh, Sabretooth. pops yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And you're all prepared for this massive yeah. fight. And yeah. it's like, you know, everyone's getting ready and Deadpool's talking up Wolverine. Yeah. It's like, you know, your audience has waited it's two decades so, for this. Yeah. Pulls all the swords out. It's like, okay, what you got to do is this, this, this. Yeah. Do you ever shut the up? Yeah, yeah. Wolverine and Sabretooth run, at, run each at each other. Wolverine with one swipe decapitates Sabretooth. Yeah. That was it. Fight over. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to see more of that. I'm not going to lie. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with okay. it because... <laughs> Bearing in mind, this movie was about the MCU killing off the Fox universe. Yeah, but I wanted a bit more in it. Like, not just like one swipe. Didn't you? Not really. No? I never really liked Sabretooth, to be honest with you. I never really kind of got... a side the... character. Right? Yeah. <laughs> even, even in the original X-Men movies, he was a bit of a side character. Yeah. Like, he was just like this, this, this imposing character that never really did anything. So I'm okay with the way his time ended, right? Okay. Um... Then obviously we see um, Cassandra Nova appearing out yeah. of out of Ant Man's yeah. giant 
corpse. Obviously, he's giant man in the in the moment that he oh, died here. Yeah, so yeah. he's been purged. Now, bearing in mind, this is all happening in the voids. So there's a whole bunch of Easter eggs throughout the void. Yeah. You've got like there's an Easter egg there where you see one of Thor's old helmets with the big wings on it. You yep. see you see that one of the helicarriers from the old MCU. You see like all sorts of Easter eggs throughout. You yeah. see the Fox Studios, the 20th Century Fox logo. In, in like half sunken into the ground. You <laughs> know, like, it's, little, yeah, yeah. like to me, it was giving me very, this is Nostalgic. a reset. This is a big reset. Yeah. And then obviously towards the end of it all, you know, you, you've got a essentially destroying all of the old X-Men. Mm. You know, like this, this big fight scene and all of yeah. the old X-Men um, who, who are all just completely disintegrated and, and, and Eliath has destroyed them all. So yeah. if you know anything about Cassandra Nova, so Cassandra Nova, for those playing at home, is the the unborn twin of Charles yeah, Xavier. Yeah, 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 yeah no. Now, Cassandra Nova was never born. Charles, as a fetus, identified, because Charles was such a strong mutant even before he was born, yeah. identified evil in his sister and killed her before she was born. Yeah. And remnants of that evil exited the mother yeah. and grew in a cave to eventually become a deformed human known as Cassandra Nova that had similar powers to Charles. Damn. <laughs> so she's already been killed once at this point. Yeah. And she grew back. Get knocked down, you gotta get back up. Now we know that she has the power of regeneration. Yep. Yeah. Because in this movie, Pyro shoots her and she can't heal herself in the moment because she's wearing Juggernaut's helmet, which yeah. blocks her powers. Yeah. And then as she takes that off, she heals. So yeah. she has the same power that Deadpool and Wolverine have. Yeah. Regeneration. Regen, yeah. She's not dead. No. If they survived, she survived. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Ah. Uh... Yeah, but do you remember when Deadpool was like, at like towards the end, he was like, "Yeah, you did say that you know with the matter and antimatter, if one region, uh, you know, mutant goes in there, he'll die." But yeah, two, but, well, it was actually three. Yeah. She was in there too. It was actually three. Fair enough. And it is very possible that her being there was what stopped Wolverine and Deadpool from dying. I guess. Well, uh, Okay, cool. <laughs> so I, I'm not, no, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking because obviously, you know, they were, uh, you know, they were doing different things. You know what I mean? Like Nova was doing one while the other, uh, while Wolverine and Deadpool were doing the other. Um, and so, you know, they were doing this whole back and forth thing. So I thought that Nova was all by herself. So as, and you know, as you said before, she's an Omega. So, you know, like she could, she could live. Like, absolutely. Mm. I think it would be an absolute massive plot twist <laughs> I, I think it would be and I, I to me it would make sense it would make sense that she lives yeah because she, she's uh, an omega level mutant yeah, it, 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 that phoenix, would be too easy the phoenix force is an omega level mutant yeah. you can't kill the phoenix force no so I, yeah I don't, I don't know man no, yeah <laughs> I don't know neither neither I don't know we, we'll just have to see hopefully they make that announcement next year <laughs> look there were there were a couple of things that really stuck out to me as the movie was ending and there's, yeah. there's so much to talk about the whole movie and I don't want to go into every single final detail because um, trust and believe I have about 90 points right. that, that <laughs> I, I I could cover in this in this discussion but there were yeah. two comments there were two comments made one by Hunt, B, uh, Hunter B52. And one by Deadpool after the, the uh, after the final you know battle with Cassandra Nova. Yep. First one was when Hunter B fifty two turned to Deadpool and her exact words were, "I have a feeling your work is only just getting started." Yeah. And then Deadpool turned to her and said, "Well, I couldn't have done it without a few friends back in the void. Yeah. Is there any chance you could help them out?" And okay. she responds to him by saying. I'll see what I can do. Yep. Yeah. We might not have seen the end of the that that Avengers style yeah. group. That like we could have just seen the birth of a new X Force. Well, there you go, ladies. Channing Tatum's coming back. <laughs> maybe, maybe we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Look, it was such a great movie. There were so many plot twists. Did you mm. see? Did you see the blink and you'll miss it cameo by Stan Lee in the in the actual movie, not in the post credits in the actual movie. There was a blink and you'll miss it kind of cameo by Stan Lee. 
So when all of the when when Deadpool and Wolverine are fighting the Deadpool Corps, like the the all of the the, the group of Deadpools, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, and they're fighting through the bus, yeah, and they're going and they're killing Deadpools and they're pulling arms off and they're ripping people apart and yep. you know Blake Lively as Lady Deadpool, you heard me right, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Blake Lively as De- Lady Deadpool. <laughs> um, as the camera's panning on the bus and you're distracted by what's going on in the bus, on the bus. There is a steam cleaning carpet service advertisement called Stan Lee Steamers with a picture of Stan Lee's face. I'm going to the cinema tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, These are all things that I noticed. Some of this I noticed in my first watch. Like I, yeah. I picked that one up straight away. I'm like, Stan Lee. <laughs> It. So wow. that was that was really cool. Yeah. That was really cool. Yep. Um, but we also got to see uh, we also got to see a, a little tip of the hat to Marvel Zombies. Yeah. In Headpool. Now, for those not, who don't know, Headpool is the Marvel Zombies variant of Deadpool. Yeah. Then we also saw um, Nice Pool, which was yeah. hilarious. Two the only Deadpool that didn't have regenerative powers. It's so dumb. Um, we saw dog pool. We saw yeah. kid pool. We yeah. saw baby pool. We saw Deadpool pulp. Yeah. We saw lady pool. We like there were so many variants, and I've I've got some screenshots that I want to go through later on that I took while the the credits were playing because yeah, I yeah. have a funny feeling there's a few more Easter eggs in this movie that we haven't hit yet oh. based on who played some of those variants. Oh, you, oh, you have people you think. I, I think there's a few things, and I'm going to hold my tongue on that one because I want to go back and just double check. Okay. But I think that there were some Easter eggs. And I think there were some interesting people who played some of those variants. So oh. I'll come back at you and let you know about that one. We'll post on social media about that one. All righty. Um, Deadpool's Fox universe is dead. It's yeah. gone. No, yeah. But the Fox <laughs> universe is gone. That's a given. That's a given. The only universe that I think is left is Deadpool's universe. Because from what we could kind of tell, there was like some differences between the Deadpool universe and the Fox universe. X-Men universe. Okay, there yeah. were some differences in both characters who were played, but characters who also appeared. Bearing in mind that Negasonic Teenage Warhead never turned up in any of the X-Men movies, as an example. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Any of the X-Men, um, yeah. But that could mean that the portal yeah. to bringing the X-Men into the MCU could be via Deadpool's Fox universe. Do you mean all the X-Men? Some of them, at least. Some of them, at least. Who, who would you? But want it to see also that? means, well, I, <sighs> it's a hard one. It's a really hard one. I yes. think Patrick Stewart played Professor Charles Xavier better than anyone. James McAvoy was great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like Patrick Stewart is Charles Xavier. Yeah. You know, Ian McKellar <laughs> is Ian McKellen is Magneto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even no though he, it. even though he doesn't fit the typical Magneto look with the long white hair, he mm. just, it was just chef's kiss. It's it incredible. Well, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I don't know. I mean, we'll we'll see what happens. Um. But it also means that Deadpool can have other standalone movies, which makes Sean Levy's comments about it not being a part of any particular phase. Because Sean Levy, the director, was interviewed and he was asked which phase is this Deadpool movie a part of. Now Kevin yep. Feige came in and said it is part of a phase, but Sean Levy's response was, "Well, I don't really care about phases because like this is a Deadpool movie. This stands out outside of those phases." Yeah, which to me feels like a big hint that that part of the Fox universe is still going to exist somewhere on the say on on the the grand timeline. Yeah, you know. Um, it could mean that Deadpool will drop in and out of the MCU while also still having his own storylines, which yeah. kind of leaves it open for there to be more Deadpool movies that aren't necessarily a part of okay. the sacred timeline. Yeah. yeah. Um, or c- kind of like a casual fill-in movie with occasional drop-ins on uh, during key moments of, mm. of Avengers. Like, you have to have Deadpool in an Avengers movie. The whole thing was built around the fact that... See, this is the thing. Well, we got a little hint about that. Dude. Deadpool's main goal. Yeah. Do you remember back to what Mr. Paradox offered to Deadpool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? He could be a part of the Avengers. In the sacred timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this whole thing was. You either let your universe die and come and join the sacred timeline. Yeah. Or you fight me. Yeah. And he fought and won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that tells me that there's still going to be two t- two concurrent timelines yeah. here that we're going to be following through. And also what Deadpool saw in the, one of the TVs. Which was... 
recreating that Loki scene. <laughs> recreating <laughs> that Loki scene. Yeah, with Thor. With Thor. Yeah. I'm really curious to is go back through comic book history and see whether or not there is actually a reference to that. I'm going to do that as well. Maybe. It could be. It could be. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, yep. I want to get to some rumors. And this is where I think Wolverine specifically is going to play a more active part. Yeah. The same people who leaked the fact that we're going to see Red Hulk in the Captain America movie, which proved to be right, mm. have also leaked that in that same movie, uh -huh. we're going to see Wolverine again. I guess uh, I guess uh, Deadpool was right when he said that they'll be putting him, playing him as Wolverine until he's 90. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, right. So we're the see same Wolverine people again. are saying that we're going to see Wolverine and we're going to see him very, very soon. He's getting busy. <laughs> He's, he's finally making all that money that he deserved to make. Yeah, that's it. Um, so look, I, who knows? Yeah, Who knows what's next for Deadpool and Wolverine? All I know is that this movie was the most exquisite way to tie a bow at the end of the, at the, end of the Fox universe and go, yeah. that is great. That was done. That's just beautiful moving it aside. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Probably one of the most heartfelt things that I saw throughout the whole movie was as the credits were rolling, we saw a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that yeah. was filmed during the making of the that, first that few X-Men movies. And it hit right here yeah. when you see Stan Lee yeah. on the set talking to Hugh Jackman. And Hugh Jackman, th there's a moment there where Hugh Jackman is quite literally talking to a camera behind the scenes about his first day on the set as yeah, Wolverine. Yeah, about how everyone was like, who is this kid, man? <laughs> like and that's yeah. crazy how, but they kept that yeah. footage absolutely and i think that um you know it, it it's so cool to include because you know we'd think that this is only about um deadpool and wolverine but they're going all the way back to x-men days yeah like to the very first x-men movie yeah like that's 30 years of history exactly and you know like it, it especially to all these marvel deep uh, all these uh marvel fans like uh, that people have you know watched these movies and grown up with it. Mm. Um, you know it's just an absolute blast to the past to see all these actors like Storm and all yeah. that in there as well um, but yeah it's yeah look there are a few cameos that we were expecting that we didn't get but I'm yep. okay with that yeah but like, there were rumors that we were going to see Halle Berry Storm in this movie she even posted yeah. a photo of herself with the oh, white really? hair again on yeah. Instagram, yeah, that didn't happen. That's no. okay. I'm okay with that. It might happen. It might happen though. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Future. <laughs> All we know now, yeah, is that the Fox universe is done. Yeah. All we know now is that the future of the MCU mm. is in Kevin Feige's hands. Yeah. And if what we saw at San Diego Comic Con this weekend is anything to go by, I just got three words for you. What are that? What's that? Let's. Go. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm so happy. Uh, I'm so happy the movie's finally here. There was so much hype. We did so many episodes in season two about what this movie's going to look like. We got some of them right. I did call the biggest one of them all was the fact that that uh, a few episodes into season two, we were talking about what was uh, what was Logan's big thing, and it was mm. the fact that he is an anchor being to his universe. That, that, yeah, and it, very it, it proved to be true. <laughs> it proved to be true. Yeah. Uh, there are anchors in every universe, yeah. and in the Fox universe, the anchor was Wolverine. And it makes absolute sense that the last movie that the Fox universe released was Logan, yep. and that was the end. And we got to see Amazing. all of that wrapped up in a beautiful... Amazing way to end it. A beautiful movie. Look, Kevin Feige said that he considers Endgame to be a 10 Infinity War to be a nine, and going off that, he would consider Deadpool and Wolverine to be an eight. I agree. Yeah. Eight out of ten for me. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. What I, would you rate it? I'd Dead Deadpool Wolverine. Yeah. Out of ten. Out of ten. Seven and a half. So nearly an eight Seven. out of ten. Yeah. You calling like, Kevin like, Feige? Are you saying Kevin Feige's wrong? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why don't you go on the MCU no, then? I, I will. <laughs> no, 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 I just, yeah. I think, like, obviously, I, I think there's potential. Like, a lot. Like, right. Me saying 7.5 doesn't mean it's you know, bad. I thought it was great. Storyline was great. Characters was great. 
references were great. A little more than I wanted to. But I think this Wolverine and Deadpool is the start to something. I think I think so too. Which I think is so why too. I think it's only going to get better for me. Yep. This yep. is why I gave it such a, you know, the rating that I gave it. Yep. No, I totally agree. I yep. totally agree. I can't wait to see what comes next. Uh, and rest assured, whatever does come next, we're going to be here to talk to you about it. Absolutely. My boy, I think we're done for the night. Another one done. Another one done. <laughs> I've been loose. That's been Brody. Tell your dad I'm on my way. See you guys. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>